Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. In front of you are two fair dice. One is a seven-sided dice with faces numbered negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. The other is an 11-sided dice with faces numbered from negative 5 to 5, that is, the integers from negative 5 to 5. You pick a dice, and I will get the other one. We will roll together, and the person with the larger number wins. If the two dice show the same number, we will roll again until someone wins. Which dice should you pick if you want to maximize your chance of winning? Now you can also solve this problem for the generalized case where one dice has integer sides going from negative n to n and the other dice has integer sides going from negative m to m. I want to mention the source. I adapted this problem from a post on Puzzling Stack Exchange. Finally, just a little bit of trivia. According to the Oxford Dictionaries, historically, dice is the plural of die. But in modern standard English, dice is both the singular and the plural. Throw the dice could mean a reference to either one or more than one dice. So can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So we'll get started by writing the sample space. The seven-sided dice could show any of the following seven numbers. The eleven-sided dice can show any of the following eleven numbers, and these will be with equal chance. So we have a total of seven times eleven, which equals seventy-seven equally likely possibilities. Now of these, seven possibilities will be ties in which the game is a draw. So we're going to exclude this because the game does not end on these, you in fact roll again. This leaves 70 game ending rolls. Now imagine the 7 sided dice rolls a 1 and the 11 sided dice rolls a negative 4. 1 is larger than negative 4, so this will be a win for the 7 sided dice. In fact, all of these outcomes to the left of this diagonal will be a win for the seven sided dice. This is a total of 35 game winning outcomes for the seven sided dice. All of the possibilities to the right of the diagonal will be wins for the 11 sided dice, and this will be a total of 35 game winning outcomes for the 11 sided dice. So, we'll put this together. The probability that 7 wins will be its 35 game winning outcomes divided by the 70 outcomes in which the game ends, and that's exactly the same as the probability that the 11 sided dice wins. And 35 over 70 is equal to 50%. So the two are equal to each other. Each dice has an equal chance of winning. Furthermore, this is true in the general case as well. We can imagine the same sort of table where we have the rolls of the n dice and the rolls of the m dice. Now if n is less than m, there will be n possibilities in which the two rolls are equal, and these will be re-rolls, and we'll exclude these possibilities. Every outcome to the left of this diagonal will be a game-winning outcome for the n dice, and every outcome to the right of this diagonal will be a game-winning outcome for the m dice. In fact, there will be a one-to-one -one correspondence between these outcomes. In the general case, the n dice wins for all pairs i, j such that i is greater than j. But for every such pair, there is an outcome negative i, negative j, which must be a win for the m dice. This is because negative j will be greater than negative i. Similarly, every winning outcome for the m dice can be paired with a win for the n dice by the same mapping, where i, j goes to negative i, negative j. Hence, there is a bijection between the winning outcomes for each dice, so each dice must have the same 50% chance of winning. The game is fair in the general case. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world. 
and they have over 100 million views. Please subscribe for free to get the news videos and email me a puzzle or math topic, presh and mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my merchandise, which is listed on Teespring. You can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.